Hey guys, welcome back to a new video and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for staying because I know I look, took a little bit of a break and it felt good because you guys know me, I'm pushing through. I'm literally trying to grind to get this thing. It's really mentally exhausting now as, as soon as 2020 comes to an end because I really pushed this year and I'm pushing harder next year, like way harder. I'm just exhausted. But at the same time, welcome back to a new video, guys. I'm going to be sharing with you my whole one year or more review of my Digital Storm PC. As you all know, it's been my most viewed video. And I just want to say that this pre-built PC is definitely not what I thought it was. Now, the only reason why I say that is because after about a year and four months, I am not even able to successfully run a stream or multiple games at a time or even a game in a website at a time. So if I'm listening to YouTube and whatnot, I don't want to blame it on the stress testing because I, I got a lot of hate for that. If you guys are new to the PC world, stress testing is basically where they take the PC and put it through like the most rigorous challenge for each component of the PC so that when they ship it out to you, you don't have any problems. And I got a lot of hate for it because I, I was saying that stress testing is bad for the PC. And obviously when you build your own PC, you're not doing stress testing. So I got a lot of hate for it. And I do apologize for giving you guys incorrect information. When they stress test it, it's just a quality control at that point. But this guy down here, this is my baby. And quite honestly, it's just, it's not holding up to as well as I thought it would at least because like I was saying, it just, it can't run a whole lot of things at once anymore let alone when I'm editing and when I'm creating new software for my videos, it slows down tremendously. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not a matter of like it's broken or anything because it's definitely not. It's just a matter of it's not as good as it was when I first got it and when I first received it. Now, whenever I play a game, it's still as loud as it was before. This graphics card in here, it's a literal vacuum on steroids and I can't help it. It's just the type of graphics card I have and everyone knows that the, the turbine type or the blower type uh, of a cooling system is very loud compared to the ones that are fan related so unfortunately I got stuck with that and they buy it in bulk and I can't exactly help that so it sucks but it is what it is you know I can't do anything I'm just a consumer I'm not a developer now obviously I've made a ton of YouTube videos with this PC since probably the beginning of March of 2020 and there's a lot of files I store on here there's a lot of different sound effects different musics I mean it it builds up the store it's like it, it makes it clouded and I've had no issues with the whole system of deleting things except for if I wanted to download another game. Obviously, that's a whole different story, but I don't play a lot of games. I only play COD and I barely play Fortnite now. So, you know, the fact that $2,000 worth of a PC, is it holding up to my expectations? Absolutely not. You know, am I still a fan of them? Yes, because I think Digital Storm is one of those brands that's like one of the most reliable and I think that personally it's got one of the best reviews in terms of a PC except for NZXT. And you know, it's just one of those things where I think maybe I screwed up in a way because maybe it's not the things that I wanted in a PC but then again you know it's a pre-built it's not like I could just pick and choose everything which actually that brings me to this point in the video I in the future and I've been seeing in the comments every single video are you going to build a PC and record it and yes I am I actually really want to when I have enough YouTube revenue I want to dedicate a portion of that to building PCs and customizing them with my dad because I think me and my dad would really bond over PCs because he likes to build them. I like to build them. I think it's cool to see what you can engineer into them and I want to be giving them away. So for instance, if some of you guys need a PC, I'll do giveaways and whatnot. I mean, obviously giveaways are a little sketchy on YouTube in terms of like people not saying that they've won multiple times or they haven't won blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to make sure the system's good. And like in the future, when I do have that revenue coming in, that's uh, allowing me to do that for you guys. I cannot wait for that to happen because honestly, it'd be cool to see some videos of me just building PCs. I mean, why not? I have no problem doing it. Maybe I'll make a whole separate channel of it, too. I know I talk a lot of crap about this PC and how it doesn't run as smooth as, like, it did before in the very beginning, but that's obvious. I mean, I've had it for a year and a half. It's not gonna run perfectly how it was when I first got it, and that's just because I've been using it constantly for eight-plus hours a day. For one PC to handle sometimes streaming, editing, videos, I mean, there's a whole bunch of different things for one PC to handle, and it's a gaming PC. It's not a workstation. Uh, there's a huge difference there, by the way. Here's the thing. If I change the graphics card we've been through this too if we change the graphics card yes the pc could actually be 100 better 
may not be though. All right guys, so since we're doing a whole PC review after about a year and a few months, I thought just talking about it isn't good enough. I'm gonna go into my task manager and show you guys what I mean in terms of how my, my GPU's doing, my memory, my CPU, and my disk space is all doing. So without further ado, let's go into it. I'm gonna show you guys what it is at idle level, which is right now, as well as when I'm playing, say, Call of Duty, because that's the game I play the most. All right guys, so right now you guys can see the CPU. This is when I'm actually like doing a recording of the screen like it's it's gone up a little bit and you can see it fluctuates a lot I also don't know if this is being overclocked I don't think it is because I think overclock is like 5.2 gigahertz I don't know though you guys can correct me if I'm wrong I'm not a techie person in terms of like the actual task manager and seeing if it's good or not but the overall computer processing you know what I mean like the whole health of the computer I know just not this parts like the individual pieces so this is a sitting at idle now I'm gonna turn on COD and you guys will see what it's like okay so now that it's on you guys can see it's already jumped into the 30s now it's jumped to 76 now a hundred percent so this is being overclocked and I don't know how to unclock it or maybe it's not being overclocked I have no idea like I said guys I don't know the terms and specs and when it's being overclocked and whatnot but you guys can see like my memory I mean it's being heavily used over 50% my CPU is is still running at a very high speed it's still being utilized at a kind of a decent speed as well. My GPU seems to be doing fine right now. It's when I turn into games and stuff is when it actually starts taking control. Right after my GPU surpassed 80 degrees Celsius, my entire PC crashed. Um, well, if you guys ever want to know what a, a CPU cooler looks like from the inside, um, this for the first time just popped out and I didn't even know this could pop out. Uh, this is the front facing panel that doesn't look too good. So, uh, it sucks.